Warning, this video contains suggestive things and strong language. Howdy y'all, this is your boy Beastamon. And this is going to be the best episode ever. Why? Because it's time to get dirty. Down and dirty. Okay, let's get to the surface of Korriban. And I believe it's important for us to have Jolie and Juhani with us. So we're going to give Kander some time to stew in his thoughts. If you don't know what I mean, uh, please watch the quote-unquote filler episode, which uh, was the previous episode. And away we go. I wonder if you guys know what I'm referring to when I say away we go like that. I doubt it. But let's go. Well, this looks hospitable. Okay. I like to look around the uh, dock in case, uh, in case we see something. And old man Jolie needs an upgrade, it looks like. Yes. Nope, I guess there's nothing around here. Oh, look. You know, I just realized I did not save. Since I'm recording these back-to-back, -back and I did not save last episode. So, uh, as you can see, I did not. So, uh... Yeah, let us save. I'm actually going to save over this one. A little bit unconventional to save at that one. I know I'm messing up my save data because it's in the wrong, it's, now it's going to be in the wrong order. Let me check. Yeah, so it's not like freaking Skyrim where it brings the, the current save at the top. I wish it was like Skyrim where it just saved at the top over a current save, but whatever. <laughs> Gina, why don't I need Bobo to you too? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a Jedi. <laughs> we have to fit in, so. I haven't left the light side. Oh no, this is the best kind of place. You have no idea. I know Korriban's a Sith planet. Yes, I know that. I'm not brain damaged in that way. I'm brain damaged in a different way, sir. Let me tell you. Oh, so it's been here before. Of course it has. <laughs> I'm going to the dark side, so I don't need to collect the fee. This is Cor this is Corabon. This is a Sith plant. We need to stick it to the Sith for once. I don't know if it'll work. I doubt it, but. Nah, I think it's funny that Bojo Lee and Juhani did not say anything. But he represents the Sith, so. I gives no fucks, no, I gives no fucks. Again, you hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, king kunjope shak. No ba mulira ji. Johnny you turung chi, we eat a dear. Bola una chinek. Ba mulira. Come on, give him a chance. Kunbis <laughs> king. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Oh, oh, Everyone I know the answer. We would never oppose you. Oh, they already answered the question. No. <sighs> do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Remember that in the future. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. 
You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You! Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. Oh, me? These hopefuls will oh. never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Well, if you can't think of anything cruel, you really shouldn't be out here. Jolie, where are your clothes? I'm to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being <laughs> Oh my god. I'll turn their skin inside out. <laughs> Yo, I forgot to give clothes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. <laughs> or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. I'll tell you what I think, Mr. Was it Chardon? I think she should go fuck off. That's what I think. Why are you asking me? Please tell him to let us go, I beg you. Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can let him go. They're lemmings. They'll do whatever you say. Like there's not there's what's so fun about killing a lemming? It's the equivalent of killing Krillin in freaking Dragon Ball Z. It's like it, Here's here's the thing. Peep, look, powerful opponents like Frieza. They brag over killing Grillin. I'm like, you lose credibility. That's like killing an old lady in the hood. It's like you kill an old lady in the hood, you lose credit for that junk. <laughs> they can't fight back. <laughs> and even if they do, it's not it's they're not that great at it. Let them go. Let them go. And what They aren't worth your time. I suppose not, but you're as boring as they are. Fine, fine, go on, all of you. Hopefully you've learned something here. Bet you a jackass, that's what I learned. You, let's hope we don't see each other in the future. Because if we do, I'm going to have to tatter that up. Tear your ass up. Talking all that shit, acting like he had a people. I can see I'm gonna blow a gasket on this planet. Y'all need to pray for me. Give me a second. Hold up. I just gotta fix something, you guys. Give me one second. You're gonna hear noise, so. Okay. Sorry about that. Having a little bit of technical difficulties, but everything's fine. What, uh. Oh god, we're a celebrity. Good. I don't care. Thank you for noticing it. As long as you don't say I'm Darth Revan, we ain't got a problem. Oh, you offer merchandise. Speaking of, he's not the person that offers merchandise that we were told to look for about three or four episodes ago. Why so? Oh, so we speak in the same language. They are dumbass brats. By the way, if you want to bring two people to this planet, it should be Juhani and Karth if you care about storyline. Uh, Uh, what connection do you have? Ooh, Mandalorians. They're good at that type of stuff. Okay, let's see your merch. Okay. Um, Warblade. Double Viral Blade. Both my shooters. Oh, yeah, and if you get a chance, uh,. My advice is if you're absolutely looking for uh, maybe a carbine or a rifle, is to try to get one that's a, a disruptor. Uh, it'll come in handy. Now there isn't much to do in Dresh Day, except have a drink till your shit. There are a lot of young folk who come here hoping to get admitted to the Sith Academy here in Dresh Day. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. 
led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest okay, of us. Okay, I'm so close to well, getting on these people. Seen us before, we wouldn't be newcomers, would we? <laughs> oh, Jolie with the moves. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our... Okay, I know she ain't talking to me like that. that. She ain't talking to me. That's a lot of responsibility, but I'm about to go off on you, bald-headed hoe. You know what? I got a problem. I... No, no, no. You know what? You know what? You know what? You bald headed from the back, bald headed from the front, ho. You look like a goddamn horse. Oh my god, oh my god. You know what? I'm about to go full force on this bitch. Let me tell you something, you horse face bitch. You look so goddamn ugly, even Mr. Ed wouldn't touch your ass. A horse is a horse, of course, but I wouldn't touch that goddamn pussy. Oh, no. I wouldn't touch that at all. Hee-haw, hee-haw. And the fact that she and her little Sith guards are talking junk. Oh, no. Her hair is so goddamn short. It don't look like you could cultivate hair or anything else on her goddamn head. Farmers look at her like she's a goddamn mystery. Well, damn, I done waited eight months. Ain't shit coming up. Not even a little cuckaba. Man, please get her out of here with that mess. I still don't know where your hair... You know what? Her hair is so messed up. It actually had the point where her hairline was. Look at that. Mm. And I haven't seen some beautiful short-haired ladies before. Mm. And you ain't want to... How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke. Don't oh, I made several. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amused. The only thing that's amusing it is your goddamn not. hairline and how well your hair sit on it so we can know where the hell that shit start where the hell that end. But seriously, her hair looks like her damn scalp. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I'm grilling. Part two. First, first one was the cell cast. Watch roasted cell cast skewers. I don't have respect for people who likes bullying other people. If you want to fight, I will F you up. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up. You're right. It's that. funny. It's Shut funny. Fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine. We'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me. I've never seen someone scout right up. <laughs> you know that's me? I've never seen someone scalp right up that goddamn high in their head. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have to. I'm. I'm really gonna. I'm. I'm probably gonna have to mark this episode, the dirty episode, and make it age 18 and up for real. Yo, but um, do you know why I went off on her? I'm gonna tell you why I went off on her. Because a, she's friends with Chardon. That dude that tried to kill people just because they didn't fit the set. Two, she's trying to start stuff with me. And three, you gotta defend yourself if you're a Jedi on this planet. And this isn't the last time we've seen Shardon or Lasho, which, uh, yeah, I lashed out on her because she's a hoe. But anyway, um, yeah, so I am gonna mark this, uh, 18 and up, so, uh, probably. So, uh, I don't know. But then again, if they don't mark certain comedians, they shouldn't mark me either. Go about your business. But yes, I had to grill her. And Jolie, I'm, I'm, you know what? You know what? I was going to put his clothes back on for him, but I realized how weird that would be. I'm not put, uh uh. It's like caretaking for your dad. And I'm not saying it to make fun of people that actually do take care of their, fam uh, their uh, parents or family, but I'm saying Jolie is fully capable. This office is actually our administration. If you're in need of anything, 
Zerka works with the Sith. Not surprising. You certainly can. So yeah, a lot of people sell stuff on. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to buy all that. So yeah, there's a lot of Verpine stuff, which yeah, and there's stuff for demolitions and. But yeah, as you can see, I went off on her and I had to. I absolutely had to. And I know a lot of you guys are like, you're being disrespectful to women. No, I'm I'm being disrespectful uh, to pixels. So yeah, if you're real, if you're a real woman, I won't uh, talk to you like that, obviously. But uh, I have a problem with the Sith, number one, and uh, and number two, this is my channel. If you two got a problem with it, that's fine. But uh. I can post this up somewhere else, so, uh, just say, YouTube, it's your call. I give no fucks about the stuff I say. But keep in mind, I'm just talking about pixels. People are so willing to get butt hurt these days. It's a shame. Who wants to know? Uh, I'm no smuggler. Davik's dead. I took it from him. Oh, shit. I forgot about this, yo. Uh, I could take a look. Yo, that's dangerous, what we're about to do. Yikes, ahoy. So, this guy. So, remember on Manan about uh, three or four episodes ago? Um, We talked to a guy, and he said... We have equipment for you because we know you. We know we know you because we've spied on uh, the Leviathan, and he overheard Malik talking about us as Revan. This is the guy you could buy special equipment from. Oh wait, not him. Sorry, wrong guy. I meant to say this guy. Sorry, <laughs> this guy is important for a different reason. Um. So I own the, well, you know what, I own the PC version, and if you use a certain mod, this guy's very important. That's what I was thinking of, but this is the guy, sorry, this is the guy we're talking to. I feel so embarrassed for not knowing that. Well, for forgetting that. Uh, I'm not revving anymore, you do know that, right? I plan to stop Malik, but not for revenge. What kind of things do you have in sale? I don't care if you're self-serving. I've already dealt with self-serving people, and they were Rodians too. Hulas, I'm looking at you. I would say it's a cursed vessel. But we killed Davik, so... If we didn't kill Davik, he still would have died, probably. I'm not a Sith Lord. Oh my god, I'm not a Sith Lord. Stop it. So yeah, there's a lot of important... Oh, we can buy Verpines. They are very expensive, though. There's a lot of good stuff you can buy here. I have to check something, though. Uh... Oh, I'm level, I'm level two as far... Okay, so I'm level two. It was me, why? I'm gonna look after myself. Oof. Okay, we gotta buy more of these. We're gonna need them. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna buy that. Uh, even though we probably will need that, but I don't have enough money, anyways. We have they—they got Dominator gloves, which are 
which are a little bit better than the Burr Prime ones I have now. Usually I buy these, but I don't have the money right now. Constitution plus four, Dexterity plus four, Reven uh, Regeneration. Mesh underlay scope is awkward. So. Okay, so the only thing I will consider buying is the Verpine. And I'll buy one more for now. But yeah, uh, sorry I lost it, you guys. But I knew I was going to lose it on her because mm, I lost it on those cell cat judges. I lost it. Oh, and uh, by the way. Juhani is supposed to have a little bit of character development. I brought Jolie for a different reason that's pretty funny. So away we go. And actually, um, I might wait till next episode to do that. But I'm going to find out should I right now. Hey, it's a utility droid. And it's a protocol droid. Up oh, here's another one of them. You know, it's going to eat away at me if I don't do that other thing, though, but that's okay. So here we go again with this. We have more cis students, and they just think they can they could just ruin people's lives and mess with them. So let me explain to you what's happening here. Or better yet, no, I'm going to let you guys find out. And I'll tell you why I don't like these cis guns. Me mocking her is the least bit of your worries. Plus, like I said, if you get butt hurt, she's just pixels. No way would I do that to somebody in real life. You guys got to understand that. People play video games to vent all the time. What are you doing? Oh, great. Um, so once again, the glitch happens where you can't hear the actual Qualish speak, which is fine because he just makes a whole bunch of ugh, noises and stuff. So he's standing here trying to prove his worth to the Sith Academy. If he stood here long enough, he'd be worthy. Damn it. We can't hear him. Okay, I might have to reload. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to see if I... Okay, so Miko, another one of them. So we ran to Shardon, Lasho, Miko. Okay, keep in mind, we're going to meet all these people again under more interesting circumstances. So if you don't understand why I cussed them out and treated them like crap, you will understand. Watch the next episodes before you judge me for making fun of Lasho and how she looks. Because I already know people are going to come out the woodworks, especially young women saying, I shouldn't be saying that. She's a Sith. She's a video game character. She's pixels. It's the equivalent of yelling at your TV like I'm doing now. There's the sound. What are you doing? Seems like not much to do to be worthy of anything. How long you been up to it, boy? Longer than you've been standing naked. He's not naked, naked, but you know what I mean. Are you crazy? You have to stop. Why don't you just kill Miko? Then you'll get into the Sith. You ever thought about that? Or go to the Jedi. Oh, Lord. You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do, 
I will. Why don't you go sneak to a uh, dress day and get something to eat? From heat exhaustion and Mikkel's beatings. I'm not in the contest. You are. Please, don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. But you know what? I shouldn't have went off on a uh, last show. To be fair, my character is half bald, half braids. But it's fine with me. I don't pick on people just to pick on them. I pick on people who pick on others. Jackass Ahoy. Is there something specific you wanted? Are you Miko? And what if I am? That means you know your name, because if you did, you know, if you didn't know your name, you wouldn't have responded. And if you really did know your name, you would have responded sooner. And what if I am? That means you might know your name. Let's see. We have to do something about these minions. Nah. What are you doing making those men stand there? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banter, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. So then this isn't a real test for them. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. You should not toy with people's lives. Why not just shoot them where they stand? It would at least be more direct. Hmm. Agreed, both of you. Standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. You won't do shit, motherfucker. We meet him again, too, and best believe when we do meet him, he's going to wish he had our help. But that's for a different day and story. You know what? I'm going to lie to him. You need to go home. It's, it's not for you. That was the right thing to do. Turn him away from the Sith. He should go home. Mother's not going to be angry. Go join the Jedi. Go hurry up. Get your ass going. Gonna stand here like a damn idiot. You know that bastard ain't going to help you. Leave. Leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the academy. Okay. Just a few hours longer. Well, good luck with that. You talk to Meckel? You should go home. If you can make it, go home. I don't believe Okay. If you don't want to believe me, fine. And look at that. He fainted. I tried to tell him. Well... What can I say? You can only save so many people. Just, just a few. So yeah, when we talk to this guy, he's like, you don't have the proper clearance, blah, 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 blah. You are neither a Sith. Don't bother with any of these choices. So we need a medallion. From what it sounds like. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. So, we have to talk to her. But, we have some unfinished business. Because apparently, we've been asked to look at something on our ship. And I don't necessarily like doing this little quest that we're supposed to be doing. However, I think I'm going to leave it for the next episode. Um, yeah, so that's you through her right there. That's the lady we're supposed to be talking to.
So we're supposed to uh, convince. We're supposed to convince her of joining the uh, Sith. We can try. I mean, I don't exactly remember the method of doing it. But if you don't convince her, I believe you have to take the medallion from somebody else or something. So I'm gonna say once again. But can you believe that? So we have Shardon and Miko pretty much pulling the same crap on those innocent people. Shardon, like, he wants to torture them, and Miko's even worse. Like, letting them sit out there until they get, you know, exhausted. That was some bullshit. Can you imagine if I actually became a Sith? The power I would have. I could do anything. What do you want? There's not much I could tell you. Uh, there are people who come here all the time to get into the Sith Academy. I'm one of them. I wish I knew to tell you the truth. She's a Twi'lex. So yes. Yeah. I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes. All right. Okay. So they're both hopefuls, and she's somewhere. Oh wait. Isn't she somewhere in here? That's her. That's why I want to talk to the hopefuls, because they'll let you know who's there. But yeah, you throw her. She's in here, and you can always tell who she is, because she's wearing pur. Oh, she's a purple Twi'lek. There she is. Way in the back here. Is there something you need? I am. Obviously, you have been told. Don't bother with... Okay, here's the thing. Don't bother with the... the I'm revving... You know, I'm already... Assist. Don't bother with that. People won't get it. They're too stupid here. Only about 5% of people know that you're... You know. And when they do find out, it'll be too late for them to... You know. Whatever. And yet, here you are in Little Korriban, just... We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. Mm. It is the Jedi who serve the Force. Trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force <laughs> serves us. We shape it to our will. Sad part, she's telling the truth the about that. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. And where does Darth Malak fit in all this? You know the name. Malak is the strongest. Of course I do. And the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard. Always lean for the kill. We promote As you can tell, Malak's a shit uh, Darth Sith Lord because he failed. You kill each other? If a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare. Or turn tail and run. I see about joining you. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here? Ooh, I love her chuckle. Ooh. Not? Yeah, I'm interested. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? Of course, duh. There's Why else would I talk to you? About you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi, one who is very strong in the Force. It's. Yeah, but only very little. As I thought. How interesting that they would let one with such power... With that kind of power, you... Now, I don't think... Here's the thing. If it doesn't... If you try to either persuade or persuade lie, and it and you can't persuade her, you will have to do the alternative option, I believe. I see. No, my friend. I'll not be the one. That's what I thought. You, but otherwise, not to. So, what we're going to have to do, obviously.
Persuade lies a little bit more risky. So we'll probably have to go up here and do some stuff. Hey, what's this? Looks like we found like kill these dumbasses. This is good. I Me too. I really don't want to pick a fight. But the game's going to force us to. But we do. I'm not paying you shit. Tell on some persuade bribe. This is one of the only times in the game persuade bribe. No, no, no. I am trying to be reasonable. I'm all for that. Okay, let's go. So this is going to be how we get in, which is fine. And actually, honestly, it's better that way. That's fine if I'm, if I'm look, that's fine. Like I said, uh, oh yeah, that was last episode too. Um, yeah, I gave, um, both, uh, well, I didn't give Jolie anything because his ass is naked. But I had, um, who did I have with me? Candorous. I had Candorous with me. That's right. I said I was fine if I was the one who got, uh, affected by, uh, mind control and all that. I'm going to leave him defenseless on purpose down there. Yeah, so I said I was okay with that because what I'm wearing instead is uh, the retinal combat implant, which is, which, uh, is immunity against critical hits, which I'd rather have than uh, be affected with, uh, you know, uh, like mind attacks like fear or horror or anything like that. And at the same time, I do have uh, the capacitance shield, which protects me from electrical, uh, you know. And yeah, if I need to avoid poison, I'll just temporarily put this on. So I'm not really worried about that. And you, uh, not you, honey. Jolie needs to, uh, level up at some point. Yes. What is it? Yeah, so my character's probably going to keep getting affected by that, which is fine. Wait, did, oh, one of them did die. Okay. I'm losing track of everything. So I am impressed that he's tougher than those dumb kids are. With that being said, though, he still went down. Oh, Jolie's getting messed up right now. <laughs> so yeah, these guys, of course, they're tough. They've been Sith for a while. Which is why I won't crap on them. And actually, Jolie can level up right now. So yeah, that's a little nifty trick. If, um... I've been doing it for, well, since the series started. If you absolutely are not sure you can beat a hard opponent and they... Oh, wait. Okay, I was looking at the wrong person. And they do something like that and you're low on health and you haven't leveled up, you can easily uh, do that. Here's his medallion. Which actually, to me, seems more worth it than just having her uh, accept it. Because if she just accepted it, you know how boring that is? Okay, well, since you say that you want to be a Jedi, I mean a Jedi, a Sith, which pretty much uh, Dark Jedi amongst their ranks. What the hell is happening here? Really? You got... Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you. And you wonder why I talk shit about Lasho. We eat a na damati tai. GP. Please. You're jealous. You're jealous of my power. You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? They're not even trying to do anything to you. Up. Oh. Really? I have the power to do anything. Kudu. Forest life, really? Sniveling fool. Like you would ever. What's this? Yeah, you're not killing her, but I'll kill you. I don't necessarily like being Captain Save a Girl, but what he's doing is wrong. I don't like it when you bully people, you horse's ass. Get out of here. He's just gonna he's just gonna keep doing that. You're gonna run out of force power sooner or later. Oh look. You got stasified. Jackass. Okay, wait. 
There we go. Let's see what your remains are. So we got another Sith medallion. Sith medallions are way easier to get than her accepting us. Got something up. What do you know about the Sith? Bad, bad men. Women too, to be fair. You must know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich, also. <laughs> Jolie. I counsel. I said that. Oh my lord! I guess I'm not the only one roasting people today. Jolie had his fair form of people too. Spit it out, Ormer. Things get rough. <laughs> Are you who? You're being elusive on purpose. And just what gave you the impression that I know anything Jolie, about the Sith? Jolie, you too damn old to not know what the Sith are. You said you fought them. Yo, he been telling me. See, you see now. You, you, you gotta admit to that. He like playing dumb sometimes, but you can't play dumb on this one, dude. Oh, that's right. Damn the years of the young. I was expecting you to be your... Damn your misjudgment of my character. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years? In my day, we walked 15 miles to insert the blank. Are these the same Sith? No, wait, who is Exar Kun? Uh, Exar was a Jedi who was corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith. Or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Was he killed? Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. So, what happened during the war? That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined That's what happens when you have charisma. Themselves. Why they did, I, I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against the Master. We fought ourselves. I see. That must have been difficult. Yes, more than difficult. Oh, snap. How do you fight against someone you love? Puh, I dislike such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it is a sadness I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Well, you can't because you're traveling with us. And it's like every story from here on out is just going to be him miserable. So, we got to allow him to joke around when he gets a chance to. Okay, so we're going back to the ship, um, and I will probably end the episode, because there's something we have to do on the ship, and I totally forgot about this, but it's not going to be a happy day for me, because I'm recording the next episode after this as well, and let's just say I hope you like riddles. I don't <laughs> not in this time not in this context not in this time and not in this context mm -mm. nope well anyways we are going to end the episode while stepping in here this is your boy Beastamon and I will see you next time later